Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today is not necessarily a review, <clears throat> pardon me. Today's video is not necessarily a review, uh, but an overview uh, of uh, some nib options from one of uh, my favorite uh, companies, which is the Fountain Pen Revolution. Now, when I first started in fountain pens, like most people, you don't want to spend a lot of money. And I looked at Fountain Pen Revolution because they had some interesting nib options. And I have a number of those pens here today. So I have three pens that we're going to be looking at uh, with three specific uh, uses in mind. First, here is the uh, Himalaya, which has a number five size nib, and in this case, the Flex nib. And this is the reason for this video. This is the original Fountain Pen Revolution Flex nib. Not a bad nib. Uh, then I have here two models of the, um, I'm sorry if I'm saying this wrong, Darjeeling pen. Um, the orange, of course, which I love this finish. I think this is a beautiful looking pen, obviously modeled off some classic pens. And here I have the pink version, um, which I just bought because I thought it looked sort of cool. Um, these both have two different nibs. So this pen uh, model comes with a number six nib. Uh, and this is the regular medium. Uh, which is a very, very nice medium nib, very reliable uh, and quite smooth. This one has the new Ultraflex nib, which I think is very interesting and a very, very interesting flex nib option in the current market. These are super affordable pens. In Australia, with the flex nib, including postage, this comes to about $40, a little bit more. Like, it's ludicrous. Um, so check them out. I'm going to say that straight up. Check out these pens. If you don't know the Fountain Pen Revolution uh, inventory, go check it out, get something and just have a look. I've got another Fountain Pen Revolution video coming out around this time, which is about one of their inks with one of their very cheap pen options. Thank you to Kevin for the work you do over there. It's absolutely fabulous. Um, I'm a returning, I'm a returning, returning customer, and I will continue to be returning. So let's look at these in a bit more detail uh, down below, and uh, I'll talk to you later. So here we are with the three uh, Fountain Pen Revolution pens. Uh, you can look at them in a little bit more detail. The Himalaya having some really lovely uh, material, and uh, these two pens, of course, being the Darjeeling and. Uh, looking quite nice. I think they have a nice profile, these pens, uh, and, you know, they're they're an attractive pen, and particularly at the price, they're quite well made. Uh, a few little issues on the pen, but this isn't a review of the pen so much as just an overview of the nibs, um, but these uh, raised cap bands are a little bit, uh, issue, a bit of an issue, I think, and sometimes the pens don't necessarily lock in quite as well on the, on the threads as uh, you'd imagine either. But they're an attractive looking pen, um, this orange one, I think, has a really lovely balance of the look of the pen, uh, that sort of vintage, very vintage sort of look about it, and the size of the nib is actually very nice uh, on this pen. Uh, so it's got a lot going for it, as does the Himalaya. It's slightly different. It's a smaller pen. It's got a smaller nib and a much smaller section, um, but it's very comfortable in the hand, and it's a lovely pen uh, to write with, and this material is beautiful. Now, all of these pens are cartridge converter pens. The Fountain Pen Revolution have a lot of eyedropper pens made in India. These are Indian made as well, um, but these are all cartridge converter uh, pens that I have here. As I said to you, the nib on the Himalaya here is the original number five flex nib. Um, on the orange Darjeeling, it's the standard medium number six, branded with uh, the Fountain Pen Revolution logo. And then on the pink Darjeeling, we have the new, or relatively new, uh, Ultra Flex nib, uh, branded with FPR and Flex. You can see now this nib has a much longer um, slit, and then the sides are cut out to allow for less material, so that the flex, so that the knit, the tines can really open up uh, off the paper there. So I've inked all three of these pens with. Waterman Serenity Blue, which you know is a lovely sort of standard blue with some interesting sort of red gold sheen. Um, it's a really beautiful ink and a very well behaved ink, hence why I've chosen it for this uh, review. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write with um, the 
a standard medium nib from the uh, on the Darjeeling. So we have fountain pen revolution. I'm not sure if that's spelled right. I'm very, very sorry if it isn't. Um, and this is a medium nib. Now, this is the compare. This is like the if this was a, a set of experiments, this would be the um, the variation free. You know, the the this is there's no flex in this nib. It's very smooth. It's quite wet, um, and it's a very well behaved, very uh, easy nib to write with. Etc. So it lays down a nice line of ink. It's a really lovely nib to write with. And on this pen, it's got a great size, a great shape, uh, and a lovely lightweight pen. So next we have um, the Darjeeling here with the Ultraflex nib. Um, and so I'll just write without any pressure. Uh, it's Ultra, isn't it? Ultraflex. Nib. Gosh, that's bad. I'm riding around tripod and everything, so please excuse that. Um, so, without any pressure, it writes quite well. Uh, once again, very wet. Wetter than the num standard number six. Um, and, yeah, quite, quite fine. You can already see in the writing that with very little pressure, you're able to, you can see some natural sort of well, uh, flex line coming out. You can notice it really there on the, the loop of the J. So, but what do we have this pen for? This is the Ultra Flex nib, so let's see if it has any flex to it whatsoever. So, no pressure, and as I add pressure, I'm going to slow down just so that we can allow it to open up and not... Oh, there we go, railroading a little bit. But, that's quite a lot of sort of line variation from a modern nib and a, such an affordable nib. Um, that's that's really quite something. Let's be honest. Like we've seen a lot worse from pens that are branded as flex nibs at a much much higher price. Now, for comparison's sake, I have the uh, Himalaya here with the original flex nib, which is a number five. So this is just the flex nib, and once again. Very smooth, a little bit of feedback, but smooth. Wet, always going to be. It's, it writes quite nicely. These feeds are tuned for extra flow. Um, they're, slight, they're, they're slightly more open than a regular feed. Um, so they do allow for a lot of um, ink to sort of come down. Now, I'm writing the same way as I wrote here. Um, applying a tiny bit of pressure occasionally just to sort of let the tines open up. And you can see there is, yes, definitely some uh, line variation to be had there. Uh, but let's see up here with the rest of, alongside this other nib. So no pressure. Start to add some pressure. And that's about as far as we're going to get this nib. So. The line variation isn't as uh, noticeable, as, as um, wide as on the Ultraflex nib, there is much more. Um, but this is still, an, yeah, so it's, oh, yeah, so it's it's railroaded. The feed hasn't been able to sort of quite keep up. This is, this is an issue with this pen, uh, is that the feed just doesn't like to necessarily keep up quite as well as the feed on the Ultraflex nib does, which is new, and I think it's obviously been engineered uh, to write... Oh, that's right writing there, but I'm probably taking it a bit fast. If you give it a few seconds, and there's enough ink once again in the feed to allow you to really get some quite lovely line variation. And I have to say, this Serenity Blue ink does look really nice uh, with the flex, it's quite a nice, uh, it's a lovely sort of rich blue. So this is much better than a lot of the other flex nibs that I have tried, and it's much better than a lot of um, flex nibs that I've seen on the market. 
it's not a wet noodle. It's not the same as a, you know, uh, an, an old Waterman flex nib, but at this price on a modern pen, um, it's really not too bad at all. Well, that was a few of the pens from the Fountain Pen Revolution uh, inventory and a little couple of, of the nib options. Obviously, these you can get nib options a huge range of nibs in different materials and different uh, line widths and obviously things like the flex options from Fountain Pen Revolution and that is really very cool. They have a large range of pens, um, all really relatively affordable pens, some better than others, I will admit that. Some of the pens do perform better than others and some of the nibs do perform better than others. Um, but what I've shown you today is just a little sampling and showing that new Ultra Flex nib, which I think is very cool. So I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to the date with the videos uh, that I produce. Uh, but also, please feel free to get in touch with me using any of the platforms listed below. Drop me an email or uh, contact me on any of the social media sites if there's something you'd like me to look at or if there's, any, if there's a way you'd like to support this channel and the videos that I make. I uh, Find me on Instagram and Twitter at, at the underscore offstage underscore, underscore me. It's linked below. Um, uh, I'd love to see what you're up to over there, get in touch, and uh, let's enjoy the community. In the meantime, enjoy your pens, enjoy writing, and I'll talk to you later.